Oliver Diageo has pulled out of talks to buy the Mexican distillery uh, Jose Cuervo, which, with which it's had a long-standing distribution arrangement and um, was maybe not happy entirely with the distribution arrangement. What exactly has happened uh, today that, that is new news for us? So Diageo said that it's uh, pulling out of talks to buy Jose Cuervo. Mm -hmm. Talks have been going <coughs> on for an awful long time. Everybody expected this deal to be done eventually. Um, as you say, they've had a partnership for a while. Um, Diageo distributes Jose mm. Cuervo tequila outside Mexico. And they were in talks to buy the whole company. That would have brought certain attractions. They would have been able to, to sell the product through yeah. the global supply chain. And they would have been able to uh, also generate some cost savings in Mexico. But at the end, they couldn't agree a price, so Diageo has pulled out. At least they have avoided the temptation of overpaying, I guess, for a, in, in a situation, a situation like this, because these brands tend to go for enormous sums, sums of money. They are. There's, there's <coughs> not that many big global spirits brands available, and those that are available are, are in private hands. And increasingly, mm. over the past year or so, we've been seeing ever-growing multiples of profits being paid for these businesses, because obviously anybody who owns one of these brands is looking around the world to see yeah. what, what values are being attributed for other deals and thinking, well, I'll take a bit of that. So from Diageo's point of view, it looks like a smart move to draw the line and say, actually, we're not going to be tempted into overpaying for this one. That said, there is a downside for them. They, they will lose the distribution agreement they have outside Mexico, principally in the US. Mm. Now, it's a low-margin business because it's distribution rather than manufacturing. Yes. But still, it'll knock about 2% of profits, I would think. Now, Diageo is traditionally a very acquisitive company. I mean, it's essentially a big collection of global brands. Um, and I just wonder where they might turn their attention next, because I suspect that uh, you know, having not bought Jose Cuervo, they may very well be looking to buy something else in, some, in another market, maybe. Mm. And the rumor at the moment is that they're looking uh, slightly north of the border at uh, Beam. This is the, the company that owns Jim Beam and Maker's Mark. Mm. Uh, it's much bigger than Cuervo. Cuervo was worth about three and a half billion dollars. It's uh, in the same um, sort of tequila, whiskey area. Yeah, it's tequila and whiskey. Um, the, it, it's worth about $10 million. It owns Maker's Mark, Jim Beam, and uh, also some tequila brands and some vodka. Uh, it's unlikely that for competition reasons that Diageo will be able to take control of the whole thing. So they would probably want to go in with a partner and sell off some parts of it. And certainly there have been rumours to that effect this week. Um, and, and not going ahead with a Cuervo deal will free up some resources, particularly some, some debt-funded resources, to, to go for that sort of deal if Diageo wanted to. Okay. So Diageo is a very acquisitive company. It is, is not buying Jose Cuervo. We think it might buy somewhere else ultimately. Thanks, Oliver.